I can't believe it. There's a snake out in February. We've had a few warm days. I was wondering if I might see one. I was just walking down that path where you see them, but usually this is way early. But of course they've been working in those woods over here during the winter. They might've riled, riled up his home. So he may have already been disturbed. Uh, I can't believe it. Look, he looks just like a stick, the way he's crinkled up like that if you're walking down the road and looking. Like, that's a stick, but it's a very straight stick. He's got some movement in him, too. It is not cold out. Well, that's on this uh, on this road. I'm sure he's nice and warm. I don't think, uh, I'm trying to know what kind of snake it is. It's like a, a lot of stripes on it. It's usually the water snakes come out before anything else, but I don't, that's not a water snake. But you know, they have the shed in the spring too. So his eyes don't look very clear. Uh, the eye, you can see the pupils are round, which even though I can just look at the, the markings on the snake, and know it's not a, one of our venomous snakes, but when you see the pupils are round like that, all of our venomous snakes, no, not all venomous snakes in the world, but the venomous snakes that are here, they all have the cat eye pupils. They're all pit vipers. Now, I don't know for sure about the, uh, should, should take that back because the coral snakes are venomous and they, they're they here and they might have they might have round pupils because they're not really predator snakes. So, uh, the coral snakes probably have round pupils. The other pit vipers, the cotton mouth, rattlesnake, and copperhead, they have uh, they have the, the, the elongated pupils. This is more like a little like a king snake, garter snake. I don't know. Don't know. It's got a interesting maybe a hognose snake. It's kind of I don't know what the the markings on the body of a hognose snake. I don't think it's kind of it's got you see it's got a blunt nose, a blunt nose like that. You know, kind of as a, it's kind of his nose is long. So it's kind of like a, you know, use that as a, snakes like that. They, that's a tool that nose allows them to root around in the ground. So it's a, and, and dig under the ground. It's got a, kind of got a roundish, like a little bit of a shovel shaped nose. So it's a, it's an underground snake. <laughs> or a, we can just look it up. And some of the snakes, some varieties of snakes have quite a few different patterns. Uh, like there's groups of snakes, like the king snakes, I think, have some different different types of patterns, or different varieties of patterns. But anyhow, it's a non-venomous, pretty good size. We'll get the guys a couple of feet long. Snake in February. Got out here where it warmed up. Yeah, there'll be a while before you really see the snakes out though. Like the big, the, the water snakes seem to come out like a little bit before the cotton mouths and the rattlesnakes. That's still usually not until April, even May, April, before we get some warm. It depends on how warm it gets. It's just all about the temperature. It's really cool though. You see some nature. You see some nature, little snake. You have a good good day you might want to go find some place where you can curl back up because i don't think it's going to stay warm like this all the way through march <laughs> all right we got most likely they're having snowstorms like major blizzards out in the western united states right now kind of big difference in weather between here and most of the rest of the country right now <clears throat> all right it's a long video long snake video you gotta look that video you can go look google that snake and see what kind of snake it is i love you